Do you want to play Simon Says with me? We're going to play it in Tagalog, okay? Simon says, touch your ulo, head, ulo. Good job! Simon says, touch your ilong, nose, ilong. Simon says, touch your tenga, ear, tenga. Touch your mata, eyes, mata. Simon didn't say. Simon says, touch your balikat, shoulders, balikat. Good job! Simon says, touch your bibig, mouth, bibig. Touch your buhok, hair, buhok. Simon didn't say. Simon says, touch your leg, neck, leg. Simon says, touch your baba, chin, baba. Simon says, wave your kamay, hands, kamay. Yay! Kamusta po? Hi, how are you? Kamusta ka? In Tagalog, if you want to say, Hi, how are you? You can say, Kamusta po? Do you notice the word po? Po is a sign of respect, and you have to add it to a phrase anytime you want to be respectful, like when you're talking to adults. Can you say, Kamusta po? Kamusta po? Great job! To reply when someone asks you, Kamusta ka? You can say, Mabuti po. I'm doing fine. Mabuti po. Can you say that with me? Mabuti po. Very good! If you want to introduce yourself in Tagalog, you can just say, Ako po si blank and say your name in the blank. For example, I would say, Ako po si Ate Pat. I'm Ate Pat. You give it a try. You say, Ako po si blank and fill in your name. Ready? One, two, three. Ako po si... Very good. I'm very happy to meet you. Do you hear that? I think I hear my friend. Can you say, Si Nayan? It's my friend. Ano ang pangalan mo? What is your name? Ano ang pangalan mo? Ako po si Sam. Can you help me say hi to Sam? Say, Kamusta Sam? Kamusta Sam? Mabuti po ati Pat. Mabuti naman. I'm so happy to see you. Ati Pat? Ano po Sam? What is it? Ano po? Can we sing a song together? Of course we can, Sam, and I know the perfect song to sing. You probably know the song in English. Follow along with me in Tagalog. Kung ikaw ay masaya, pumalakpak. Kung ikaw ay masaya, pumalakpak. Kung ikaw ay masaya, buhay mo ay sisigla. Kung ikaw ay masaya, pumalakpak. Kung ikaw ay masaya, pumadyak ka. Kung ikaw ay masaya, pumadyak ka. Kung ikaw ay masaya, buhay mo ay sisigla. Kung ikaw ay masaya, pumadyak ka. Kung ikaw ay masaya, tumawa ka. Ha ha ha! Kung ikaw ay masaya, tumawa ka. Ha ha ha! Kung ikaw ay masaya, buhay mo ay sisigla. Kung ikaw ay masaya, tumawa ka. Ha ha ha! Kung ikaw ay masaya, gawin ang lahat. Balak, pak, pajak. Ha ha! Kung ikaw ay masaya, gawin ang lahat. Balak, pak, pajak. Ha ha! Kung ikaw ay masaya, buhay mo ay sisigla. Kung ikaw ay masaya, gawin ang lahat. Balak, pak, pajak. Ha ha! Yay! Maraming salamat! Thank you so much for singing with me! Do you know what city this is in the Philippines? It has tall buildings, busy streets, and lots of houses. I'll give you a hint. This is the capital of the Philippines. Do you know what city it is?
it's Manila. Manila is on the island of Luzon, and here are some things you can do in Manila. You can learn about the rich history of the Philippines by visiting the many historical landmarks, like Luneta Park or Intramuros. You can go shopping or eat at a restaurant at one of the many shopping malls, or you can even enjoy nature at La Mesa Echo Park or at Manila Bay. I hope you get a chance to visit Manila sometime. Let's learn some phrases to describe how you're feeling. Gutom po ako. I'm hungry. Ugh, my tummy hurts. Gutom po ako. I'm hungry. Gutom po ako. Gutom means hungry. Po is a sign of respect. Ako means I am. Masaya po ako. I'm happy. I love spending time with friends like you. Masaya po ako. Masaya po ako. Masaya means happy. Po is a sign of respect. Ako means I am. <sighs> it's getting late. Antok po ako. I'm sleepy. Antok po ako. Antok po ako. Antok means sleepy. Po is a sign of respect. Ako means I am. Pagod po ako. I'm tired. Oh, I had a really busy day today. Pagod po ako. Pagod po ako. Pagod means tired. Po is a sign of respect. Ako means I am. Say them with me one more time. Gutom po ako. I'm hungry. Gutom po ako. Masaya po ako. I'm happy. Masaya po ako. Antok po ako. I'm sleepy. Antok po ako. Pagod po ako. I'm tired. Pagod po ako. Look at the phrases one more time. Do you see a pattern? Gutom po ako. Masaya po ako. Antok po ako. And pagod po ako. They all end with po ako. That's the basic sentence structure if you want to say how you're feeling. Blank po ako. I am feeling blank. Here is a Taglish tip. Taglish is Tagalog and English put together. If you don't know a word in Tagalog yet, try filling it in with the English word. For example, if I wanted to say, Girl, I'm so angry, but I don't know the Tagalog word for angry yet, I could just fill it in with the English word like this. Angry po ako. Angry po ako. Do you see how you can fill in the English word in the pattern? And then of course, maybe later when you have some time, go back and look up what angry is in Tagalog so that eventually you can say the whole phrase in Tagalog. Angry in Tagalog is galit. So, galit po ako. I'm angry. What if I wanted to say, oh, I'm scared but I don't know what the word for scared is in Tagalog, what do you think it would sound like using this pattern? Did you say, scared po ako? That's right. Scared po ako. I'm scared. And then later on when you have some time, try to look up what scared is in Tagalog. It's takot. So you could say, takot po ako. I'm scared. Takot po ako. It's okay to learn Tagalog a little bit at a time. So if you have to fill in some words with the English words, that's perfectly fine. The most important thing is that you're trying to speak Tagalog even if it's just a little bit at a time. So anytime you get the chance to speak Tagalog, try to use the words and phrases that you know. For example, if you come home from school and you're feeling a little hungry, maybe you could say to your parents, Gutom po ako, and maybe they'll get you a snack. Or later tonight when you're feeling sleepy, you can tell your parents, Antok po ako, I'm sleepy. So try practicing these phrases whenever you can. Can you guess what animal is inside of this box? I'll give you some clues, okay? You can find this animal on a farm. It's the color pink. And it says, oink, 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 oink. What animal is that? Can you say its name in Tagalog? It's a baboy, pig, baboy. 
oink, 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 oink. Ba boy. Can you say that with me? Ba boy. Now let's guess what animal is inside of the box this time. Hmm. This animal usually lives in people's homes as a pet. They're very friendly and they like to play fetch. This animal says, woof, 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 woof. What animal is that? Can you say it in Tagalog? It's a, an aso, dog, aso. Woof, 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 woof. Say aso, aso. Very good. Okay, let's do this one more time. What animal do you think is inside of the box this time? This animal can live in the jungle. They say it likes to eat bananas. And it usually says, ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. What animal is that? Do you know it in Tagalog? It's an ungui, monkey, ungui. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Can you say ungui, ungui? Very good. Do you like to do arts and crafts? One of my favorite things to do is to color. Come color this picture of a jeepney with me and let's learn some colors in the Galog. The jeepney is a form of public transportation in the Philippines. There are two long benches in the back where people can sit. This is the color pula, red, pula. Can you say that with me? Pula. Can you think of anything else that's the color pula? Hmm, apples. Jolly Bee, that's a popular Filipino fast food restaurant. This is the color kahel, orange, kahel. Other forms of public transportation in the Philippines include a tricycle, which is a motorcycle with a pedicab attached to the side. This is the color dilaw, yellow, dilaw. Jeepneys can come in many different colors. A lot of times they have fun designs. And on the front, over here, there's a name. This is the color verde, green, verde. You know something that is verde in the Philippines? Palm trees. In fact, palm trees have a lot of uses in the Philippines. Their leaves can be used to make brooms, or they can be used to make roofs on a house. This is the color azul, blue, azul. Speaking of azul, the Philippines is surrounded by lots of water. It's an archipelago made up of over 7,000 islands. The three main islands are Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Is your family from the Philippines? Do you know what island they're from? My family is from Luzon. Most of my family is from the province Bicol. My mom's side of the family is from Sorsogon, and my dad's side of the family is from Catanduanes. What about you? There, we're almost done. This is the color lila, purple, lila. Ano ang paborito mong kulay? What is your favorite color? Ano ang paborito mong kulay? Ang paborito kong kulay ay lila, purple. My favorite color is purple. Have you ever heard of ube? Ube is a root. It can have a sweet and nutty flavor, so it's often used in many Filipino desserts. It gives the food a deep purple color. This is the color rosas, pink, rosas. The color pink reminds me of flowers. The national flower in the Philippines is the sampaguita. It's a white flower that smells very good. The sampaguita may also be known as jasmine. This is the color kayumangi, brown, kayumangi. The color brown reminds me of the tarsier, which is the smallest primate in the world. This tiny monkey is only about three to four inches big and it can fit in the palm of your hand. And it's found in the Philippines. Lastly, this is the color itim, black, itim. Ta-da! Thank you for coloring with me. If you have any artwork that you would like to share with me, send it to my mailbox. I'd love to see it and share it with my friends.
to say yes in Tagalog, it's opo. Yes, opo. Can you say that with me? Opo, opo. To say no in Tagalog, it's hindi po, hindi po. You try saying it. Hindi po. Great job. Hmm, I'm going to ask you a question. Do you like pizza? Opo or hindi po? Do you like pizza? Opo or hindi po? For me, mmm, opo. I like pizza. My favorite kind of pizza is olives and mushroom. What about you? Do you like to clean your room? Opo or hindi po? For me, I would say opo. I like to clean my room. Having a clean room makes me feel less stressed. I just wish I had more time to clean sometimes. How about you? Do you like to clean your room? Opo or hindi po? Good job. I have one more question. Do you like school? Opo or hindi po? I would say opo. I like school. I like seeing my friends. And I like learning new things. What about you? Do you like school? Opo or hindi po? Good job answering these questions. To say thank you in Tagalog, it's salamat po. Salamat po. Can you say that with me? Salamat po. Very good. Remember, if you're just talking to your friend and you're the same age, you don't have to say po. You can say salamat, salamat. But if you're talking to someone older than you, then you always have to add po. Salamat po. Hey parents and guardians, if you want to help your kids practice Tagalog, try saying these phrases every day. Gutom ka na ba? Are you hungry? Gutom ka na ba? Then encourage them to answer with Opo or hindi po. Another thing you can ask them throughout the day is, Ano ang gusto mo? What do you want? Ano ang gusto mo? They might answer with the phrases we learned today, like gutom po ako or pagod po ako, or you can just let them answer in English. What's important is trying to incorporate Tagalog in your everyday conversations. Lastly, try to use Tagalog a little bit at a time, all the time. For example, try to encourage kids to say salamat po when they want to say thank you. Or even encouraging them to add po to everything they say in English is good practice for them when they try to say po in Tagalog. Good luck! The Philippines has lots of beautiful beaches like this one. Let's take a moment and pretend like we are relaxing on a warm, sunny beach, drinking water from a fresh coconut. I hope you get to visit a beach in the Philippines like this sometime soon. It's time to play a review game. Do you want to play with me? Let's do it. These are my friends Bruno and Luisa. They are brother and sister and they're going to the Philippines for the very first time. They don't know what to expect, so we're going to help them on their journey. Let's review some phrases that we learned today. And when we get them right, Bruno and Luisa will move on to the next part of their trip. Ready? The very first question is, how do you say, hello, how are you, in Tagalog? Do you remember? Hello, how are you? In Tagalog is... Kamusta po? Hi, how are you? Say it with me. Kamusta po? Very good. Second question is, how do you say, I'm doing fine? Did you say, Mabuti po? I'm doing fine. Mabuti po? That's right. One more question. What is po? Po is a sign of respect. You have to add it to anything you say when you're speaking to an adult or when you want to be respectful.
Okay, let's see what Bruno and Luisa have to do now. They have to pack their luggage. Of course they have to pack their luggage. Otherwise, they're not going to have anything to wear. What do you think you need to pack to the Philippines? Do you think you need a winter coat? Or a winter hat? Or gloves or scarves? No, I don't think so. The Philippines is located near the equator, so it can get pretty hot. You might want to bring some shorts, t-shirts, maybe a hat to cover your face, and maybe a bathing suit if you want to go swimming at the beach. Do you know what a pasalubong is? A pasalubong is a souvenir. A lot of times, people pack pasalubongs when they go to the Philippines. It can be clothes, shoes, toys, or chocolates. And they're gifts that people bring back to their family in the Philippines because they haven't seen them in a long time. That's called a pasalubong. Can you say that with me? Pasalubong. Great job. Okay, can you remember how to introduce yourself in Tagalog? How do you say, I am blank? And say your name. I would say, Ako po si Atepat. Ako si Atepat. I'm Atepat. You try saying your name. You say, Ako si blank. And say your name in the blank. Ready? One, two, three. Ako po si... That was awesome! How do you say thank you in Tagalog? Salamat po. Salamat po. Remember, if you're just talking to your friend and you're the same age, you don't have to say po. You can say salamat, salamat. But if you're talking to an adult, you always have to say salamat po. Okay, now what do Bruno and Luisa have to do? <gasps> They're at the airport. They're probably getting their bags checked in. Then they have to walk to their gate. Then they have to wait for their plane to be ready before they can get on board. How do you say yes in Tagalog? Yes. Did you say opo? Yes in Tagalog is opo. Say it with me. Opo. Very good. How do you say no in Tagalog. No. No in Tagalog is hindi po. Hindi po. Can you say that with me? Hindi po. Good job. Okay, now let's see what Bruno and Luisa have to do. <gasps> now they're flying on the airplane. Usually there's a flight attendant who walks by to give you snacks. Or if your flight is long enough, you'll get a whole meal. When I fly to the Philippines, I usually get lunch and dinner on one plane, then I get lunch again on another plane. I have to fly very far, so I get a lot of meals. Also on the airplane, there's usually a monitor on the back of the seat in front of you. You can use this to watch movies, listen to music, or even play games. Especially on very long flights, this entertainment comes in handy. All right, while Bruno and Luisa fly to the Philippines, Let's answer a few more review questions. How do you say, I'm hungry in Tagalog? I'm hungry. Did you say, gutom po ako? I'm hungry. Gutom po ako. Very good. How do you say, I'm sleepy in Tagalog? I'm sleepy. Antok po ako. Antok po ako. I'm sleepy. Great job. Last one. How do you say, I'm happy in Tagalog? Masaya po ako. I'm happy. Masaya po ako. Now let's see what Bruno and Luisa have to do. <gasps> they made it to the Philippines! Now they can get off board and finally see their family. 
They get to see their grandparents, aunts and uncles, and their cousins. Now they're going to go have a fun vacation. Great job playing this review game with me. We did it. We learned so much today. We learned Kamusta po? Hello, how are you? Mabuti po. I'm doing fine. Ako po si Atipat. I'm Atipat. Then we learned phrases to describe how we're feeling. Gutom po ako. I'm hungry. Masaya po ako. I'm happy. Antok po ako. I'm sleepy. Pagod po ako. I'm tired. We learned how to say yes, no, and thank you. Opo. Yes. Opo. Hindi po. No. Hindi po. Salamat po. Thank you. Salamat po. Remember, anytime you get the chance to speak Tagalog, try to say the words and phrases that you know. It's important to practice Tagalog so that you can get better at it. So now, anytime you want to say yes, no, or thank you, you can say it in Tagalog. For example, if your mom or dad says, hey, do you want cereal for breakfast? You can say, opo, or hindi po. Try practicing Tagalog whenever you can. Thank you so much for learning Tagalog with me today. I'll see you next time. Paalam!